people who work there? Is, are they, is there some place they should be going or somebody they should be calling to check on, on their... Right now, a lot of the guys are down there. Uh, they're being interviewed uh, about what took place. The employees? Employees. Okay. Yeah, a lot of employees are down there, so they're working through that. If you can reach them by phone, you can. If not, just give us time and we'll get some more information to you. Has there been any law enforcement that has been injured? No, ma'am. No, not here at this site. Uh, law enforcement showed up. It was already over with. Can you tell me how many ambulances or uh, pieces of equipment came? Uh, I know a lot came, but I don't know the number of ambulances. Uh, do you know the number of that? Last I heard, we were at six, and I think that pretty much was able to manage Yeah, it. six, six ambulances Who arrived. Who responded? Uh, right now, pretty much everybody from Bryant, uh, Brazos County. We had College Station respond, uh, Bryan PD respond, Texas A&M University, the constables. Uh, Bryce County Sheriff's Office, everybody respond, DPS, they all responded here to assist. Do we know, is, is there anybody who didn't survive? Uh, I don't know that one, I just know there are several, several victims. I know some were transported to St. Joe's, so we just have to wait to see their status. Do we know the condition of any of those who are injured? I do not know. Are you, can you say if all of the injured are employees of Pittmore Cabinet, or? I cannot say that. Okay. I cannot say if, uh, if they all are or not. They're, they're still, uh, the detectives are down there. We're just letting the investigation play out so we can get all that information of, of what caused this, how it developed, who's all involved. We're still working on, on getting that information out. Obviously, your agency prepares and trains for something like this. Can you talk just a little bit more in general about what kind of a response you send to a scene such as this one? Any, any large scene like this, and I say it's large just because of the building. Uh, you have multiple entrances and exits, and we practice that. We talk about which location that officer's going in to make sure we're communicating to other officers. Uh, we train with the Bryan Fire Department so that we are able to link up with them once it's safe, get anybody that's injured out uh, safely, and have those medics on, on, on scene. So this is something that we train for, uh, I would say once, once, twice a year. Uh, for the last few years, it's something that we work on, of working with multi-agencies. Because we know, and even through the past events in, in Brazos County, that all agencies respond. So we try to work with all of them, communicate with all of them. Everyone knows what they need to do when they get there. The school across the street, what happened with them? Uh, I imagine they're on lockdown. I did not confirm that. Uh, now that the scene's a little different from what it was earlier today, they might be able to they've already been released. We're being students. told lockdown has been lifted. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's, I would imagine at the very beginning it was on lockdown just for safety concerns. Anything on what type of weapons the suspect had? I, no, sir. Okay. I do not. Uh, final question for me. What, what's happening at this point? Like, what's happening right now at this point? When I went down there, there was a lot of employees, and so the, a lot of detectives were coming in and in, uh, interviewing all of them what they see, what they hear, just working through the investigation of what took place. Uh, if it was mobile, if it went through different rooms. You know, just the, the basics of trying to figure out what's going on. So right now, we have the scene set up. We're gonna be doing interviews, and then we're gonna be looking into uh, the crime scene, come out there and collect all the evidence. I'll get back with y'all as soon as I can on this. I appreciate your time.